So where do you think SFU got its name? Uh, um, maybe from like the Fraser River yeah. that's nearby? Yeah, that's true. Uh, I guess it's from a person. Yeah, from a person. Do you know what he did? Um, no, I don't know. Wasn't it named after the famous uh, Canadian explorer, Simon Fraser, who was a Scottish Canadian explorer, I believe? What? Yeah. Oh. I've heard rumors about how um, it used to have a different name and oh. it wasn't so appropriate, so they changed it. That is a solid rumor. Did you know that it was going to be called FU University? <laughs> no. Like Fraser University? Yeah, Fraser University. Because Simon is kind of silly, yeah. right? It's redundant. They realize that you are going to make fun of FU. That's, that's why they changed it. Yeah, well, there is that. So there's, there was that. Upon its opening in 1965, Simon Fraser University was named after the fur trader and explorer Simon Fraser, who first descended the Fraser River in 1808. George Curtis, the Dean of Law at UBC in 1965, initially chose the name Fraser University after the Fraser River. However, after a colleague noted the unfortunate acronym FU, the name Simon was added to make it more pleasant. However, in 1968, John Conway, a PhD student and activist at the time, demanded Simon Fraser University be renamed Louis Riel University after the political leader of the Métis in Western Canada. Ultimately, after a three-hour rally, a crowd of 300 raised their hands to show three to one support for the name Simon Fraser. The name would remain unchanged. In August 1969, potential tenants of SFU's new apartment-style residence voted 95% in favor of calling it Louis Riel House. It was a minor victory for the name Louis Riel at SFU, achieving a status that had only previously been earned by heroes like Madge Hogarth and the Shell Gas Corporation. <laughs>